Okay, we have two pieces of software here. The one to the right is the BlueVac Micron gauge, and it's actually the BlueVac Plus Pro, where you could do time grafting. And over here on the left, we have the Testo 552i, and they're connected back up. After I performed putting the grease, the vac uh, vacuum grease, uh, silicone grease on the cylinders on the o-rings here we're gonna see if I could pull a deeper longer a vacuum that could hold better than it did without the treatment of silicone grease on the valve seals so let me uh, turn this on let's see if I could get this in range so I could get them both up here and I will set them up in my little tripod here so we can actually record this okay so you will see when I kick it on you'll watch it drop so let me connect to the blue back oh no you don't want to work okay there you go okay so we're reading atmospheric 760,000 microns we're reading atmospheric over here on um, the testo gauge and now I'm gonna plug in the vacuum pump and let's make sure it's all open 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 yes all right and you will hear the pump come on and you will see these start to pull down one two three <laughs> All right, and you can see how fast it pulls down on both of them. We're already approaching the 100 micron range. We passed the 200. And let's get this over to the time graft. Okay, you could see the flat line as when I turned on the micron gauge, it was recording time at atmospheric. And then you can see right over here, the instant that I turned on the vacuum pump, how, fall it, how fast it fell. And so you can see we went down the maximum decay target is 500 microns I have set on there. That's the red line. Then my uh, evacuation target is actually 200, but I actually always go below that. Anytime I do any of my systems, I'm always under a hundred microns and so I don't even pay attention to anything else and I usually don't like it to decay up to no more than 200 240 microns 500 is like pretty sloppy so as you can see we are time wise and I don't know why it started so late Oh, I changed batteries, that's why. I had I actually had um, a battery run out on me. The battery that was in the blue vac. I just had the system on. And you could see from zero time over here, five minutes, ten minutes. And just prior to turning on the video, I started over again. And I guess it was recording the whole time. My battery, I thought my battery was dead and it was disconnected. It finally said disconnect. And I ran out and got another battery and changed it in the blue vac uh, vacuum micron meter. And I guess it was recording this whole time and I didn't even know it. And so we're at the 15 minute mark here, or is that what is it? Yeah, 15 minute mark. So we basically just about started at the 15 minute mark and we're already, you see how fast it goes. I mean, we're already down to 24 microns, 44 there. So. We will see what that looks like later on tomorrow morning. And uh, we'll see what it goes down to. Oh, and for the setup, so we have, here's the blue vac uh, micron gauge. Here's the Testo micron gauge, the 552i. And we're testing the Testo 557s. Uh, for the seals. We're, we're seeing how good the seals are on here. 
Okay, they're open. It's open. This one we can close because this one just goes to this cap and this cap only has a rubber seal on it and you don't want to tr ever trust rubber seals on caps. So we'll close this valve because it goes to nothing. That's that one. And we have this right there. That's open to the vacuum line. And these are uh, the uh, AccuTools True Blue hoses. This is three quarter inch silicone hose that's meant for deep vacuum. So that's what this hose is for. And if this is your first video and you haven't seen one of these vacuum pumps yet, this is like a, this is the beast, man. Uh, this is, uh, I gotta say, in all my life, that's the best one ever. As you can see, it's rated down to three microns. But that's of course only three microns when you're you're testing it. If I put my vacuum uh, micron gauge right here at the port, I'll hit three microns. And so that's it. I'll leave. Uh, oh, why do we disconnect? Hold on. Okay, so we just disconnected there for some reason. We gotta find out why we disconnected. Okay, please reconnect. Damn, I forgot which one it was. I have two of them. This is the problem. There we go. All right, it's that one. We gotta have a way. I wonder if there's a way to put a name, like a uh, micron meter number one, micron meter number two, instead of both identical. But there we go. We're now down to 15.23 on this. Close that. It's 12:13 uh, uh, a.m. when I'm starting this test. Disconnected. I don't know what's going on here now. And my uh, it shut off. So there's an issue here. I'm gonna have to. I wonder if the new. Uh... No, it shows the battery level right there. There's the battery level. Oh no, it is low. This is the brand new one. I I just took out of the package. So I got a faulty package. Let's see what I got there. Oh, old package. Expired 2019. Okay. And they say they have a five year uh, life on them. So that explains that. So it looks like this test is not gonna go over so well. And uh, I just found out my other ones, this was expired. I got these, these were in my mom's closet. She says, oh, I found some old batteries. And I said, oh, they might still be good. But uh, looks like this was expired in 2015. So uh, it looks like tonight's test isn't going to go over with a bang. So all we're going to be able to do is data log on this. And I don't think, let's see, graph. Evacuation manual. All right, let's see how this looks. Please connect a suitable probe to start the measurement. I did. Microns, target decay. Use vibration alarm. No, I don't need to do alarm right now. Yes, I want to save the changes. Save. I've never used this feature before. Ambient. The start time must not. Oh shoot. Okay, let's try that again. 
start. And um, I don't want to finish automatic. Nope, nope, doesn't give me that choice. Duration. Let's, uh, I don't want it to shut off, so let's make the duration. It'll be in the morning about 14 hours or so. Uh, let's say when I wake up in the morning. Okay. If the duration period is more than two hours, the interval at least 60 seconds must be set. Okay, no problem. Interval. Where's interval? Microns. And that's what we have back here. Do you want to save changes? Yes, save. Interval, ambient temperature, I don't see no manual input, uh, no, it's actually, seven degrees, all right. And I do not see the interval select probe. Oh, they want that uh, temperature probe. Okay, I don't have the tell. Oh, maybe I have a temperature probe here. Let's see. Okay. Maybe. Oh, one minute. Oh, they don't want me to try this one. Oh, I already removed it out of that box. Okay, it's in the vehicle. So we will just go, and it won't let me save because of the interval. So we'll go two hours because it won't let me go any longer. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna play with this anymore because it's past midnight and now I'm hella pissed off because now I already opened this. Okay, turn off evacuate from target. Turn off finish start, get the hell out of here because I want to go to sleep. I don't want an ambient or temperature. Input manual. It's input Fahrenheit. Alright, screw this. We'll read it in the morning, whatever it is. It won't let me back out of here now. I'm getting really pissed off. <laughs> Live. We're at 11 microns. So, let's see what it is in the morning. Alright guys. It's uh, after midnight. And we're at 11 microns. See ya.